In this video, we present new techniques for synthesizing realistic facial expressions from photographs. We first photographed each facial expression using uncalibrated cameras. These photographs are then used to create a 3D model by specifying correspondences, recovering the camera parameters and face shape using an optimization technique. We can specify additional correspondences to help refine the geometry. Either points or curves can be specified on the facial mesh and input photographs. Here we draw curves along the right eyelid to improve the geometry of the mesh. We iterate this process until we are satisfied with the geometry. We then extract a texture map by projecting each image onto the reconstructed facial surface and then on a cylinder. The projected images are blended to produce the final texture map. Here's an example of a realistic fascia model we generated using these six images. We have also developed novel interactive techniques for generating complex expressions from a small set of initial expressions. By blending the geometry and texture map of the sadness expression with those of the surprise expression, we quickly generate a worried expression. To get more localized control, we split the face in several regions. Here we use just two. We can then create a misery expression by taking the mouth of the sadness expression and the eyes of the pain expression. The blend can be independently controlled for each region. To create a fake smile, we combine the mouth from a smiling expression with the eyes from a neutral expression. This more subtle expression can also be made quickly with separate regions. To obtain even finer control, we have developed a painting interface. This interface uses a palette of facial expressions where each expression contributes both geometry and texture. To create a drunken smile, we begin with a neutral expression and then paint the corners of the lips with a smile expression. By turning off the texture map, you can see that the smile expression affects the geometry as well as the texture. Now we'll raise the eyebrow by painting with a portion of the surprise expression. To get finer control, we shrink the size and reduce the opacity of the brush. We can then slightly lower the eyelids by painting with a closed eye expression. The blended expressions are used as keyframes in a 3D animation system. Once we've generated an animation for one character, shown on the left, we can later reuse that same animation for another actor, shown on the right, without any additional user intervention whatsoever. Finally, here is a complete animation produced using these eight initial expressions. I was real happy and carefree and young, and I lived in a place called the Valley of Vung. I had nothing, not anything ever went wrong. Until, well, one day I was walking along, and I guess I got careless. I guess I got gawking at daisies and not looking where I was walking. And that's how it started. Sock! What a shock! I stubbed my big toe on a very hard rock. And I flew through the air, and I went for a sail, and I sprained the main bone in the tip of my tail. Now, I never ever had troubles before, so I said to myself, I don't want any more. If I watch out for rocks with my eyes straight ahead, I'll keep out of trouble forever, I said. But watching ahead, well, it just didn't work. I was watching those rocks, then I felt a hard jerk. A very fresh green-headed quilligan quail sneaked up from in back and went after my tail. And I learned there are troubles of more than one kind. Some come from ahead and some come from behind. So I said to myself, now, I'll just have to start to be twice as careful and be twice as smart. I'll watch out for trouble in front and back sections by aiming my eyeballs in different directions. I found this to be quite a difficult stunt. But now I was safe, both in back and in front.